Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Civilization 5 as Denmark. So again, I did my homework, I checked all our cities off camera, but um, I wasn't able to improve our happiness too much. I think I found like three points maybe. Uh, so our best shot still remains Neuschwanstein that we want to rush as quickly as possible. I checked again and we should get the great scientist and great engineer quite soon. So we'll use the scientist to rush railroads and then engineer to build Neuschwanstein as soon as possible. And we'll see what that does to our happiness. As we get more happiness, all our yields increase and as all our yields increase, all uh, the poverty and boredom should go down and further increase our happiness. So this should be like two-step improvement to our happiness. And also, uh, I will try to remember and queue up constabularies because thanks to our social policy here, martial law, that gives happiness as well. That's a solution hopefully for one problem. And another problem we have to... Uh, find a way how to vassalize Shaka, which is gonna be a pain, but he's currently fighting, I think it's Mongolia, uh, so we could maybe use that uh, like window to attack him when most of his units are probably busy on this side and attack, attack him here. I was thinking that maybe I will take his main island after all, because if we do that, we would get uh, two, four, five... At least five, is it five? One, two, three, four, five, yeah, five uh, tiles with first, get the global monopoly and get plus six happiness there, which would definitely be uh, pretty useful in our current situation. Question is, can we take this uh, island because it's just stacked with, uh, with impies right now? And of course, um, the timing is so that we have to fight Shaka when he has in peace. I don't know why, but usually it ends up that way. I'm always like saying to myself, try to fight Shaka when he doesn't have in peace, and no matter what, I end up fighting him exactly uh, right after he gets them. But well, uh, we have more uh, frigates now, so maybe we'll be able to just destroy him from the sea. Okay, and other than that, uh, I spend uh, all our faith on Inquisitors, so we now have Inquisitor in every city except Memphis, because that's not following our religion anymore, uh, so I'll send this one to flip the city back and then buy another one, that will hopefully slow down the Spanish missionary spam. They already flipped Giza. Uh, Egypt is helping, there are one to three religious units that we can see that are following our religion trying to probably flip Giza back but um, yeah in the long term Spain will definitely be stronger religious wise than we are so we have to do anything that we can to like slow them down <laughs> I hope didn't I hope that I didn't forget anything so let's end the turn and we just have to um, like stack up our units and once we have them in position come on what I wanted once we have everything in position we uh, declare the war and also we have to repair all these tiles because that will help solve some unhappiness as well okay i need how many ships do we have two four five not too many six seven hmm. i think i'll just keep buying new ships and sending them this way i have to make sure i have ships ready for defense i have a bad feeling about, uh, especially Spain. I mean, they can't declare by themselves, of, of course. No, I don't want to defensive pact with you. But um, Russia with Spain combined have such a massive fleet now, and they'll probably try to find a way how to use it, and we are a very tempting target. I need to have some units ready for defense. Uh, yes, we can get an embassy with you, that's for sure. And look at that, people just want to ban luxuries. I've never seen that everyone would just try to ban luxuries. Interesting, we can... Well, we don't want to ban anything, so I'll just... 
I don't know, we'll see once we get to that. Uh, let's accept the embassy. I was hoping that someone could try to get another, like, world project. City converted. Yeah, that's fine. I have uh, an Inquisitor ready for that. Go. Fortify. Yeah, now I have to fortify all those Inquisitors everywhere. You can keep moving. I fortify. Join. Invasion force. Uh, the Tercio is healthy now, so he can join as well. Clans can I replace him? Probably get the crossbowman in at least these two cities. Oh, well, we don't have that much money right now, so we'll have to wait, and our happiness is still dropping. This is gonna be so close. Uh, oh, really? Annoying barbarian? Do we have a ship that can handle that? This frigate? 45, 45, 45. You can see how many Inquisitors I bought. I invested like four and a half thousand faith. But uh, soon we get into the next era, so they will become more expensive. I wanted to get them as long as they are quite cheap. Moving. <clears throat> how do we position our ships here? Probably forward so that we have some warning in time and in case Spain starts moving towards us we just like stack up and try to fight them with a group of ships uh, 45, 45 and there should be here another one can go. I don't want to go too far north because it's unlikely they would attack here. Let's go like style maybe. Now, or poverty. Problem is if I or when I lock the merchant uh, specialist slot, it doesn't do anything uh, with poverty or with the overall happiness. So. Yeah, I was able to chain some uh, some tile assignments here and there to find that one extra point of happiness. But overall, we don't even have like any options to uh, really improve uh, the happiness. We have um, room for another trade route. Uh, I could use my cargo ships, at least some of them, for external trade routes, get gold that way. And that would probably find me like one or two extra happiness. But uh, you have to remember, now with distress, that's based on production and food. Internal trade routes with food reduce distress. So it's not like uh, um, I'm not getting any happiness from internal trade routes. And I kind of need more production in my capital. So I was thinking about uh, sending uh, like production from somewhere. It doesn't really matter where exactly. I can just send it from Viborg probably. Um... Cargo ship. Fortify. And what are we doing here? Where is constabulary? How long is that gonna take? 13 turns. What, what is our biggest problem? Poverty. Still poverty. But the other option is a bank. And I think bank will be better. Or customs house. Bank Constabulary, that's just the most happiness we can get from buildings. Let's go Customs House, Bank, Constabulary. Not what I would usually do, I usually I'd rush Windmill, but I don't think I have a choice in this case. Okay. Um, next. How many frontline ships do we have here? Not too many. There's another another frigate moving south. Fine. 
This Corvette will have to join the fleet. How many ships do we have? Two, four, six, seven, eight. Not quite enough. Just to speed things up, we'll send this one as well. And these ships will also be able to rejoin, but we have to heal them up first. There are some more. Um, hmm. How many corvettes? One, two, three. This will be a fourth one. So in like two turns, we can probably start moving to Shaka and hope that we surprise him on this side. And for a while, we'll just fight with what we have and then send all these corvettes from the north. I just can't delay the war too much. Okay. This will be fun. Declare war on Genghis Khan. I don't think so. Even actually, he can't pay. Never mind. But even if uh, that was the option to just get seven thousand three hundred gold right away. Uh, I wouldn't accept this. I just can't right now. There's some easy kills that we could get now. Let's look at the positive side. We can easily stop all these missionaries now. But I really didn't expect this war to start so early. Because the peace treaty, I think, ended last turn and they immediately declared which means we'll have wars non-stop don't think anyone paid for this just russia is bored and they want to fight okay let's uh fix this town what are we looking at here could maybe take Orenburg now when we have what one two three four. But we don't have any uh, frigates around. I mean frigates, yeah frigates around here. We can't take Orenburg with melee ships. Hmm. I could just send both their seals also. Oh, there is a frigate, actually. How fast are you? Five. It's pretty fast. Okay, production to our capital. I wanted to speed things up. Final attack Shaka, and now this. Why are you doing, to me, uh, doing this to me, Russia? Come on. Okay, give me a second. Again, problem with my cats. Okay, I'm back, so let's sing some more ships. Um, I won't be able to get rid of both these two, probably. Two, four, six, actually. Now, I will be able to get rid of both. Let's move slowly to this one, just in case there are some reinforcements behind. Move. Move. That's a good start. But those are just some random explorers. 
But this means I don't have to worry about the defensive pact, right? I can just declare. And... So I'm already fighting Russia, it won't provoke any, resp any further response. What are you looking at? Bank, so next we want Constabulary. Sucks, I can't kill the Tercio, no matter what. Or five. How much money do we have? 500. I'm not buying anything with that. Or can we move all the way to the city? Fine, let's save the worker. We'll try to chase down the explorer, or at least prevent him from landing on our island. And pillaging our tiles let's say if I'll just jump from island to island one hit point sure Wait. Can we one shot? What? Six. I want to get too close to their border. But I'd really like to kill the frigate. What the hell? How is this thing so tanky? One hit point? Sure. We don't have enough. Fine. Wait, wait. I hope I didn't miss anything important. Okay, go. Usually in this situation, I'd probably change my plan and go south, just try to get rid of some of these cities. But I'm just not strong enough to fight Russia and Spain at this point. Even when I attack them to the south, they will send reinforcements at some point and I'll just be screwed. Have to declare on Shaka. Just can't let them distract me again from my plans. They're just buying more and more times for everyone on the map. Uh, okay, let's keep an eye on what's gonna happen here. Uh, completed the fizzy, that's fine. Where is Panama? On borders, no. Almaty, Samarkand. Probably don't have to worry about Panama. Wow. And there were two attacks. And Corvette is gone. So, what is their bonus? Yeah, we are unhappy, that's the problem. For Mongo Fervor, look at the bonuses. I guess I'm not killing the frigate. And now I can't kill the caravel because I killed the missionary. Um, 
I can forget about killing the diplomat. Go north, go this way. Trying to figure out a way how to just stop Russia from declaring over and over again. Wait. I don't think that there is anything I could do. Oh, this is a bad tile. What is our problem here? Distress mainly. Fixing. Uh, fixing. Uh, academies won't help. Village. I'd rather have a mine here, to be honest. I think if I'm even strong enough to attack Shaka at this point. If I attack here, I won't be able to take the city, so the best option would be to just get rid of these ships and then start moving this way, just ignore the city. Take these two, then Ulundi, try to uh, clear the island, take Nobamba, peace out, vassalize Shaka. Then forget about the western side and focus on Russia and Spain. I have to do it this way. Wait, wait. Wait, don't wait. Let's just start creating some kind of battle line. I'll probably have to move the frigate to the front line. I'll have to leave these units unprotected. I really don't have a chance down here. It will take too long. Just have to get rid of ships and move this way. Okay, I think if I can send and the units maybe keep Shaka's land armies busy. But I'm really scared of Impis versus my Tercios. Oh, what the hell? Worst case scenario, we can just retreat. I'll just provide cover these corvettes. Uh, admirals will stay here. Well, this is 
pathetic fleet. It's not even a fleet. Wait, 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 wait. But Shaka still has uh, Drummonds and uh, some some uh, caravels. Hopefully, will be enough. Wait. Oh, about the worker. So I don't know where is that Russian Hersey or something that was here last turn. I'll just try to hide my workers. Why is Orenberg taking damage? Now we can see how many hit points does the city have. I mean, I could try to take it down. It doesn't look that strong. Just have to heal everything up. Just another destruction. Fortify. Need to go. Catherine entered industrial era. Wow, she's still ahead. I thought I I caught up, but she's still slightly ahead. Open water, snow. I'll have to check how she entered industrial era. I hope we don't lose Neuschwanstein to it. That would be a disaster. You want six horses in exchange for a bit of gold. Actually, quite a lot of gold. Do we need horses for anything? I don't think so. And we have quite a few horses. Sure. Let's help our friend here. That's going to be, what, 21? Maybe we could get... Never mind. So we could get some luxuries. 21. Could you give me 22? Good. Propose. Oh, I thought he was our friend, but he is hostile as well now. Jeez, what the hell happened? I think we might be in trouble here. This is not helping. Oh, where is that artist here? I don't have a choice. That helped a lot. It's only six turns. But... During those turns, we can do a lot. We can get the... Uh, the scientist. That will give us railroads. We are seven turns away from the engineer. So they'll... Get us much clo closer to... Uh, to Neuschwanstein. How much money do we have? Not enough to buy a ship. I need to do something with those barbarians. Fortify. What do you think you're doing here? Where is Darius? Can we get some of those trades back? I 
British to it. Fine. Uh, can we buy some more luxuries from people that we are somewhat fr friendly with? Not from you. What about Mongolia? This is not too bad. I probably have to pay this. Try looking at five. Japan. We don't have anything. What about you? You have perils. Pretty cheap perils. That's two. This also increases the strength of our units. Yeah. What's the problem here? Or manga penalty. It's interesting, he hates us, but we have defensive back and we are fighting the same enemy. He's friend with Shaka. Can I be friend with Shaka in the end? I have to get rid of him, he's just too unpredictable. I need this caravel to move away before I can... Actually, I can just start landing right now. Shaka doesn't control this territory. Then you'll probably move... No, we are already standing on pillage tile, so we don't have to move anywhere. Do I even care about these units? I mean, I should get rid of them. Okay, one more turn. If uh, this caravel wasn't here, I'd probably declare this turn. But that caravel is in a really bad position for us. Uh, this is gonna be... What are we doing here? This is gonna be a village, which means this has to be a farm. Okay, next. Keep an eye on these galasses. Gonna lose, I think, at least like three more cargo ships. I am not that close, dude. Yeah, at this point, I don't care about the extra penalty when I declare after I promise not to declare. Hello. We get rid of the great diplomat. 
That would be a nice catch. Look how tough this thing is. Why? I understand they have some bonuses because of my warmongering. But when... My, my three ships, three frigates and a corvette, or two frigates and a corvette, can barely kill an embarked land unit. That's somewhat frustrating. Mm, where is the caravel? Okay. Move to south, that's what we need. Whatever. I need to get rid of the of the caravel and then lock proper tiles. Can I just Oh this guy can't move yet. I'll next turn I'll move the crossbowman and start hitting the ship. Uh Actually, quite curious if I'll be able to one shot a trireme at this point. Okay, we can still one shot Drummonds, that's good news. But we can't one shot the trireme. Send the Great Admiral to help with this. Or can. The kill here. Yeah, let's attack. I need the Caraval to move away. Oh, hey, Shaka has cannons. Great. I'm honestly nervous that Shaka's triremes will just straight up kill my corvettes. Is it paranoia or is it possible? Let's move our line a bit. to land more units. Okay, fortify, fortify, fortify. Probably make sure I don't lose that Admiral. Oh, that looked reasonable. But still, I mean, you'd expect that frigates would just one shot trireams. Uh, 
have a ship around here that can stop these barbarians. There's one. 45, 45. And. Let's start moving towards Orenburg. It's down to 20, so something destroyed the garrison or the garrison moved away. I mean, he could have a chance here. Wait. I think I'll just buy Corvette. Still have to replace the trade route that we lost, and I don't know which one that was. Okay, also I noticed that we have a Spanish Corvette coming from the south, and this city is not exactly strong right now. Um... <clears throat> okay next and I expect a disaster on this turn uh, so far so good you want iron but I think I want to keep my iron how much exactly are you offering? No, not enough at this point. What about your salt now? That's too expensive. Okay, that Corvette moved away. Don't see any more ships. And it seems... What? What the skirmish you got here? That is our Perseline Tower. So we managed to get that. That's the first step. We are five turns away from the engineer, and I said I would check the Teco. 7875, Someone has railroads. Oh, that's bad. So they entered through rifling and railroads, which means they are most likely working on Neuschwanstein already. We are still five turns away from the engineer. I'm gonna pop the, uh, the scientist no matter what. And we, we did lose another um, trade route. Oh, we got a free ship. Well, that's nice. about the workshop. Yep, it's the best option. Chill out. Wait. Six, 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 and we have six is two. They can't work on Neuschwanstein yet. They don't have enough social policies. Unless they have uh, the belief that uh, reduces, even if they had the belief that reduces it by one? Actually, I don't think they can build it, no matter what. Hey, that improved my mood a little bit. I just automatically expect that the AIs are ahead culture-wise, that I don't even check if they 
can build someone there. Is, it seems they are attacking up pretty quickly, but uh, they are not like getting so much culture. Okay, at least that skirmisher can't uh, destroy our our cargo ships. I don't want to stay around the city, so let's just move away with all ships that attacked. Great. So now I can move, heal up from that work boat. And just forget about this city. Okay, now when we stack up here, the situation will probably be a little bit better. Pillage, pillage. I have to make sure that we are standing on pillaged tiles. Uh, although, yeah, I have to move back. So that's in the range of the cannon and not the pillage tile. Fortify, fortify, fortify. I don't really care about these units. I can just... sit here... kill the Scaravel... and... how many frontline ships do we still have? One... Two, three. That should be enough for the attack on Undini. Okay. Workshop into how are we doing here? Distress is the biggest problem. Means start with armory. That's a bit of production. After that, probably windmill. Would Stable help. We have sheep. That's about it. But that's still five production. Okay. Fine. And I also have to build castles in these cities. Well, suddenly the situation looks a little bit better. So next episode, the main goal, of course, is Neuschwanstein and survive. In this war, we still don't, still don't want to actively fight Spain and Russia. But once we end the war with Shaka, we'll turn all our attention to this problem. And try, once they declare the next war, attack from the south and just take these island cities one by one. Just reduce Spain probably to their mainland. And the question is, can we fight them on the mainland? <laughs> they have Barcelona with strength 120. Uh, fighting from the north, there is no point, because Spain became voluntary vassal, and I'm 100% convinced of, about that. They want to stay a vassal, even if I weaken Russia, they won't just ask for independence. So I may as well get rid of Spain, that's like a stronger part of this alliance, because it's so easy for Spain to get ships. But that's be where we're gonna attack, and once we cripple Spain, we'll... Then try to do something about Russia, probably. 
But we will have to completely eliminate Spain here. So in the end, the biggest problem could be happiness. I'll just erase all these cities, but that still leaves us with five cities that we'll probably have to keep. But the race may be Toledo. Oh, we could keep just these four cities. I could even maybe raise Cordoba in the end and keep three. That would mean starting with the Siege of Barcelona, which looks quite unlikely with this strength. Oh well, that's still gonna be fun, but um, there are some ways in for us somehow. Um, now this episode is over, so as usual I hope that you liked it, I hope that you're gonna join me for the next one again, and until then, have a good time, bye bye.